Hey ladies, I'm a unicorn today. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Hoping you're having a great day. Um, I really miss you guys. I really miss talking to you and spending time with you. I'm going to take this off because this is kind of a serious subject matter, if you will. Um, I wanted to tell you about Kayla because she was a friend of mine who died when I was in college. And um, since we are talking about death and we are talking about eulogies and obituaries, I wanted to share that with you as kind of share my experience. Um, I don't know if you all have had any experiences with death or losing somebody because you guys are young, but if you have, please feel free to reach out and talk to me and I'll be happy to interact with you and help you through this time. Um... I first met Kayla when I was, I want to say about 17 or 16, somewhere around there. Um, we, we actually went to school together, and she was somebody that was always in, like, the popular crew and was, like, always running around with the popular people, and I was not that. I've never been that. Don't really think I want to be that, um... Because I find that a lot of popular popular people are also pretty shallow. But that's another conversation to have for another day. Anyway, so I met Kayla and we kind of hung around each other because we were part of a Saturday program. And we went to school on Saturdays and did tutoring. And then we got like a little, maybe like a $40 check for it or something. Um, but anyway, so she and I kind of hung around because we had to do our tutoring and they assigned us to do the tutoring on the same day in the afternoon. And it wasn't, uh, then I graduated and I left the program, went to college. We never really had any issues between us until like the summer before she died. For some reason, she decided, hey, we're going to start hanging out. And so we'd always go to this coffee shop and start hanging out. And um, we have like a little group that we meet together and talk about stuff. And anyway, so she believed differently than I did. And sometimes people, when they meet people who don't believe the same way that they do, they just kind of stop talking to them or they argue with them and fight or whatever. Um, and so, so we did that and it was very drama filled and all of that good stuff. But I, but it was really, it's a really important part of our story. Anywho, um, she was also sick. She had something called lupus and honestly, I'm not very familiar with it. I'm also not completely, um, uh, on the upwards with knowing what it is. I do know it's an autoimmune disorder where parts of your body attack the other parts of your body, but I don't know what that means, and I don't know what it was like for her. So she had that, and she kind of struggled with that. Um, but and that was something she had for a really, really long time. Then, shortly before she died, maybe in December of 2016, she reached out to me over Christmas, and we said... And we went and got some dinner, and we talked and kind of patched things up. And we started just to have form a friendship between the two of us that was more peaceful because she decided that she didn't want to live at odds with other people. And so when we started our conversations, we you know she would call me once a week or something, or I would call her, and we'd have a talk, most Thursday nights, I feel like it was, and, um, so college ended, my second year ended, and so, um, like, I'm maybe around Mother's Day, and myself, my friend Jamie, my friend Kellen, my friend Hannah, and my friend Lauren, we all went to the beach to celebrate hey we finished our second week and so she called me that Thursday and I was like hey I'm at the beach so but I'll be home next week and I'll um, 
um, I'll see if we can find some time to get dinner or whatever. And she said, well, how, let's do it on Thursday. I said, okay. And I came home on Saturday and it was Sunday morning that she died. And I wasn't there, nor have I been to the site, but she was going to church and she took a curve too fast and um, wasn't buckled in and ran her car into a tree and it wrapped around the tree and um, because of her injury she died from internal injuries and bleeding she had internally and so that was a long process for me because it was the first time that somebody my age had died because I thought you know I would live forever and so that put me into a about a year process of being able to move on and forgive and get not get over but learn to live with the grief I remember going to her you remember how I had made plans to meet with her on Thursday well her funeral was Thursday and so I went to her funeral and um, it was a full house and then they took her casket out to the church graveyard and there was where um, some people have given gave eulogies for her and so I tell you that for two re a couple of reasons one I just wanted you to know where I'm coming from in making this because grief is a really important part of your life you will at some point have somebody who dies and hopefully this will help you when that time comes and if you have had other people that have died that you've had to struggle with maybe you can share some of your experiences but you know I'll never get over her grief just like you will never get over the grief that you experienced and so I just wanted to share this with you and I hope that it helps you I also hope that it kind of gives you an insight onto what I'm talking about and um you know, I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your willingness to let me share and your willingness to be res responsive and being able to accept parts of my story. But anywho, I will see you online. See ya.